What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're going to check out Sasha Banks' nuclear heat. WWE removes her and Naomi and Nia Jax return and other wrestling news, man. This whole Sasha Banks controversy has been the talk of the WWE wrestling atmosphere for the past few days and it's probably going to continue to be the talk of the town. Um, there's some people that feel like they understand what Sasha and Naomi were uh, going through and they felt they were justified and then there's a group of people that feel like uh, Sasha was entitled and they feel like Naomi really just followed suit, got pressured into doing this. So. We're going to check this out, see if there's any more information and updates, and uh, we're going to get right into this, man. This should be an interesting video, and let's do the damn thing, man. What is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including major heat on Sasha Banks. WWE removes Naomi and Sasha Banks from live events. A former superstar claims Sasha has manipulated Naomi. A WWE Hall of Famer rejects a match with Ric Flair. AEW backstage chaos and much more. Oh, Be sure shit. to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and our non-wrestling page, Incredible. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Right, let's see what's going on here, man. Now first we look at an update on Naomi and Sasha's WWE walkout. Now the wrestling world remains abuzz about the news of Naomi and Sasha Banks' reported raw walkout on 16th May. But first, let's look at Sasha Banks' nuclear heat. One of the big questions concerning the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions stepping away is how their fellow WWE superstars feel about the situation. Ringside News' Steve Carrier recently tweeted, We can confirm the big heat on Sasha Banks backstage in WWE is legit. In fact, we were told that Sasha is not well liked backstage in WWE. At this point, she has alienated everyone backstage. On the other hand, we were told that Naomi is well liked. Mm. Nonetheless, Brian Alvarez discussed the situation on the Wrestling Observer Live, revealing what several sources told him about Naomi and Banks. Are both of you are going to be headlining a pay-per-view in singles championship matches and you walk out over that? What? This is your job. You're not really the tag champions, it's fake. You were chosen to walk around with these two belts and do matches. Now they've come up with another idea to position you in a top position. They would have been in a top position on television for weeks setting up angles. Sasha would have laid out Ronda Rousey. I mean, all of that. They do all this stuff leading to matches and that was a creative they decided. We're walking out of this company over that. So very, very non-existent sympathy for Sasha Banks and Naomi. And a lot of people have been saying that. The reports are, have been coming out that they were posed uh, supposed to be having future championship opportunity mat like opportunities one uh i think sasha was going to be facing ronda and then naomi was supposed to face uh bianca belair for their respective women's championship uh titles so uh you know i and i guess sasha maybe had an I a different idea for the tag titles i'm not sure but some people are like, yo, like y'all were going to be in high profile situations. Granted, once again, it all goes back to the, the tag title shouldn't even be a thing for the women's division because there's not enough women to defend it. So if that's the case, it shouldn't have been a thing, but it is a thing. And the tag, the women's tag titles are pretty much an afterthought, if you want to be honest. No one really cares about them. No matter who's holding them, no one really gives too much input into them or like too much care because the only thing people really care about raw women's championship smackdown's women's championship that's it if they built up a division around the tag titles that would be cool maybe people would care more but as it stands those are the only belts really the women's division really put emphasis on unfortunately now the situation is being taken seriously by WWE, as we'll see in our next story, as WWE has removed Naomi and Sasha Banks from live oh, yeah, events. They're, they're, it looks like the WWE is isn't wasting any time with dealing with good. Naomi and Sasha Banks' walkout. Brad Shepard of the Brad Shepard Unleashed Patreon account tweeted that, according to a source in WWE with direct knowledge of the situation, this morning the company pulled Naomi and Sasha Banks off all live event cards at least through at the end of June. He later told, I'm told Naomi and Sasha Banks are now off live events through July. Yeah. Now this could shake things up on Raw, SmackDown and NXT as there were several hypotheticals discussed regarding the women's tag team titles held by Naomi and Banks including the two defending the belts on all three brands as well as a rumoured pending program against Dewdrop and Nikki Ash. 
but one of the biggest questions is how the disgruntled duo's absence will affect the tag team division. The WWE has the option of vacating the titles, scrapping them entirely, or figuring out a way to reintroduce them. Yeah. The problem, of course, is that there aren't many women's tag teams on Raw or That's SmackDown. Well, Given saying. the WWE's lack of effort pushing the women's tag division, it's easy to imagine the belts being forgotten. Yeah. On the other hand, Vince McMahon may want to spite Naomi and Banks by pushing a new set of champions. What do you guys think the WWE will do? Let us know in the comments down below. I think they will keep them and... Knowing how petty Vince is, he'll probably put them on somebody else and make them do promos like, oh, we didn't walk out or some shit. They honestly need to scrap them. Just let them go. And I've I've been saying this and other people have been saying this for years. They need to unify the women's division. They do. Because there's not enough people. In my opinion, they do need to unify the women's division. I think they could. Granted, some people will say, oh, well, Certain women are not going to get over. Well, the, the women's division is not that deep. Now, if you add NXT to it, yes. But just Raw and SmackDown, it's not really that deep. It's, they have a decent amount of people, but I think for fresh matchups, they should at least have a champion being able to float between both shows. But once again, people will be like, well, what are the rest of the women going to do? There's no other mid-card title for them. you know. So that's why the tag team division would be a thing. Unless if you merge the divisions, have one uh, WWE Women's Champion, you could incorporate more tag teams that way. But I don't know, man. Uh, honestly, if if they're gonna keep the division separate, they they at least need to get rid of the, the women's tag team titles because there's not enough tag teams for it. So next up, a former superstar claims Sasha manipulated Naomi. Irene Andrews, aka Cameron of the Funkadelics, is claiming that a former fellow Funkadelic, till Naomi, was manipulated by Sasha Banks into walking out on the too. WWE. Cameron chatted recently with SE Scoops about Naomi joining the boss on Monday's abrupt WWE exit. My girl Naomi, she wouldn't do this, and I feel like she wouldn't do this unless she had someone manipulating and telling her how to do this. Let's best believe if I was her coming as a Funkadactyl, we wouldn't have had this happening at all. Cameron pointed out Sasha's power in the WWE compared to Naomi. Again, Sasha is Sasha. You have Snoop Dogg as your cousin. You're a top athlete and you can do whatever the F you want to do. You can literally say what you want to say, do what you want to do with no repercussion. And if you're a star athlete, I feel she can back it up. The one thing that she can do is she can back it up. It's not like, oh, she can have all these people who can back her up without having the talent to do so or the beauty. It's worth mentioning that Naomi is married to Jimmy Uso of the Bloodline. As several people have pointed out, this could shield her from retaliation should Roman Reigns speak on her behalf. Yeah. Next up, Sasha's words coming back to haunt her. And while we've only heard speculation on why Naomi and Sasha walked out, neither wrestler has spoken publicly about the situation as well. Sasha Banks may not want to claim she's not being respected by the WWE, particularly in light of these comments she made to Kevin Hart. I feel like I definitely get the respect I deserve in WWE. To be a woman and to main event? Wake mm. up, that wouldn't be possible. Now we're here doing it, and to be a part of that is so incredible. Now you may recall this isn't the first time the boss has walked out on the WWE. The question now is whether this is the last time she walks out. Yeah. Next up, more spec- Yeah, she did have a little, I think like ice, ice tub segment he be having with like different athletes and stuff like that and i didn't know that's what she said so it kind of and i think they filmed this way before this whole situation happened um but now it's like now you're saying they don't respect you i don't know that doesn't look good you know what i'm saying it does not look good speculation what might have set naomi and sasha off and what was it that led to sasha banks questioning the wwe's plans for her and naomi a recent report from PW Insider suggests the WWE planned to use Naomi and Banks in a singles match at Hell in a Cell with Naomi battling Raw Women's Champion mm -hmm. Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks challenging SmackDown Women's Champion Ronda Rousey with each challenger coming up short. Mm -hmm. PW Insider went on to say that the plans might have changed. We're told that at some point during the day, likely after the initial concerns about creative were raised, there was an alternative idea that would have been Banks and Naomi have a short tag team match instead and be beat down after to set up a different program. One source cited their opponents would have been Nikki Ash and Dewdrop, but we're not 100% confirmed that to be the case. Wrestling News' Paul Davis noted, Just before Raw went on the air, WWE producer Molly Holly let Banks and Naomi know they were going to go ahead with the six-pack challenge with Naomi winning. It was shortly after that when Banks and Naomi told John Laurinaitis that they were leaving. 
Regrettably, wrestling fans don't have much to go on regarding Naomi and Sasha Banks and prompt you exit other than the WWE statement and the rumors we've discussed. Mm -hmm. If these rumors are true, it supports the narrative that Naomi and Banks was frustrated with the tag team titles being ignored. Why would the WWE want Naomi and Banks to put over the champions rather than relying on the many challenges available as puzzling? Next up, some non-Sasha Banks and Naomi news, as WWE Hall of Famer rejects a match with Ric Flair. A Ric Flair's upcoming six-man tag match has fans talking as he and FTR are scheduled to take on the Rock and Roll Express and a mystery partner at StarCast 5. Mm. Recently, Hall of Famer Ricky Steamboat discussed how he was asked to compete against Flair and why he rejected it. I thought about it for a week and just recently just declined on it. I know when I wrestled Jericho at WrestleMania 25, then we had the return match at Backlash in the singles, but at 69, and I know it's a six-man tag and I could get a little this and that in, but with all due respect to our fans, I want them to remember me the last time I was in there with Jericho when they chanted, you still got it. Mm, I don't want to scar that phrase. That. A Steamboat also I dismissed recent that. comments by Jake the Snake Roberts that he's battling health problems. The Dragon stated that he had some minor arthritis in his shoulders and knees but is doing well. Next up, Carmella defends Corey Graves. Mm. A Raw superstar Carmella is standing by her man Corey Graves for remarks he made on Raw about the Naomi and Sasha scandal. Corey Graves is still getting backlash from some fans for his comments on Raw that Naomi and Sasha Banks unprofessionally and unceremoniously walked out on WWE. Corey's wife Carmella tweeted, Imagine still living in a world where you think he just says whatever he wants. He does his job, period. Many fans believe Corey was merely calling whatever lines Mr. McMahon told him to say. And uh, I want y'all to understand this is this could possibly be true. Most of the time, they are fed lines. They're usually fed lines and that's his job. So even if he may not even feel like that, I'm pretty sure Vince was like, yo, say this. So there's a good chance that probably was what it was. But people think, oh, well, you know, Corey said this on his own. And maybe he did. But for the most part, I can see this being a line fed to him by Vince McMahon. I can, I can definitely see that. To say, do you guys think Graves made these comments on his own? If not, should he have taken a stand? Next up, a release WWE superstars renewing a feud on the indie circuit. It looks like the match that no fan has asked for will actually no, take no. place on the indie circuit, as a new wrestling promotion, Wrestling Entertainment Series, has announced Lena Fanin, aka former superstar Nia Jax, and CJ Perry, aka Lana, will compete to crow the promotion's first women's world champion. No. According to Wrestling Inc. Cy Mohan, the new promotion is being run by the legend of Pain, aka former superstars, the authors of Pain. The event is scheduled for 4th June and features a number of former superstars including Braun Strowman, Karrion Cross, Kalisto, oh, Mojo Rawley, Fandango, Lince Dorado and others, aka the roster for WWE 2K20. Next up, oh, AEW Backstage Chaos. Is All Elite Wrestling's locker room in chaos? Well, according to Voices of Wrestling, a source from the AEW locker room tells us that MJF is hardly the only talent feeling some level of discontent, describing the backstage atmosphere as chaotic with a lack of structure with common complaints ranging from not knowing angles or finishes until close to showtime and things Damn. like redundant finishes and angles to set up matches being very frustrating. A Fightful Select notes every single one of us is pulling our hair out. While this could be one or two disgruntled wrestlers trying to stir the pot, we will let you know of further developments. And finally, Paige tells fans to imagine a return. Is former superstar Paige coming back? Well, probably not, but that hasn't stopped her from tweeting yet another tease of a return to the squared circle. A fan recently noted how Paige is still among the most popular superstars despite being gone from the ring for several years. Damn. She tweeted, imagine a return though. Our wrestling fans know there's three constants in life, death, taxes, and Paige teasing a return. <laughs> These same fans know better than to hold their breath yeah. waiting for Paige's return though. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories in real- Damn bro, ah, ah. To be honest with you man, this whole situation with, uh, with Naomi, Sasha Banks, WWE, them walking out, it's, it's quite interesting man. I, I, I don't even really know what side to believe, honestly. You know, when you look at it on paper, <clears throat> granted the tag team division, like the titles weren't being like promoted heavily, but they were getting some tag, well not, but they were getting like title opportunities, like main title opportunities. So you would think that wouldn't be a bad idea, you know? But once again, yeah, I understand Sasha's point to an extent, the exclusion of the titles the tag titles are an afterthought but it's like i don't know man this is 
this is a real toss up and i, I want to get y'all opinions how y'all feel comment down below let me know with the more information that we've received so far are you guys still in agreement with sasha and naomi and think they did the right thing or do you guys feel like they're entitled like sasha and naomi was definitely entitled here and it still was very unprofessional you know let me know your thoughts and opinions on this man and uh as there's more updates come out uh i'll definitely make some videos and talk about it but i appreciate all love and support on the channel road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one